Uh, so up next, we have uh, Katie Waro of uh, the Protocol Labs Launchpad team. And one of the really cool things about the Filecoin ecosystem that I think makes Filecoin like really unique, uh, or our, our ecosystem in particular very unique, is that we just have just a, a litany of different um, like programs for builders, like grant programs, accelerator programs. Um, just all, there's almost like too many to even count or remember. Um, like the, the the support that that this ecosystem provides to developers and builders is really like unparalleled. Um, and among those programs is uh, the Launch Protocol Labs Launchpad program, uh, which Katie is going to talk a bit about, as well as some of the other programs and uh, support that our ecosystem offers to builders. Um, so, I think Katie, take it away if you, once we get your screen fired up there. All right. Hey, everyone. Who here has done Launchpad? Raise your hand. All right. Excellent. Matt, what did you learn in Launchpad? Um, mainly about all the different people involved in PL. All the different people in PL. Uh, Denise, what did you learn in Launchpad? You learned what DAG is. OK. OK. What did you learn in Launchpad? Yeah, that we're a huge network. Thanks, Valerie. Also, hi. I haven't said hi to you yet. Yeah. And so when, and who here wants to grow their ecosystem or be more involved in an ecosystem? Good amount. Okay. All right. Folks in the back, what are you all looking for? Just here? Okay. Sounds good. All right. Yeah, excellent. Growing the Filecoin ecosystem. Uh, so when we think about really growing the ecosystem, also... The Filecoin ecosystem, the Protocol Labs network ecosystem is really focused on building uh, a large and robust uh, ecosystem and network in Web3. Uh, we are focused on open source communities. We are op uh, focused on making the internet better in whatever way that means and storing humanity's most important data. Uh, some things that we do as the Protocol Labs network, we are stewards of the of IPFS, of libp2p, uh, Filecoin, uh, and then we also have a VC arm as well. And Launchpad gets to sit right in that knowledge section, right below talent, right above services. Uh, Launchpad also gets to sit in our builders funnel right at the beginning because we're essentially that education arm. I mean, we get to work with absolutely amazing founders uh, and partners in this, but we are the folks that are really uh, hopefully being good stewards and educators of the Protocol Labs network and what that means and our technical stack. And when I was thinking more about this and when I was thinking about growing an ecosystem, because I think I have heard the word ecosystem about 500 times since I've been in Austin on Sunday, uh, <laughs> maybe more, maybe maybe more, uh, I was thinking about well, what makes an ecosystem different than a community and what makes an ecosystem different than a network? How are those three things different? What, what are those buzzwords? And uh, this led me to the Merriam-Webster dictionary, as always, uh, about what a network is and what an ecosystem is and what a community is. And really at the heart of your ecosystem, or of your ecosystem is your community. It is that group of folks that are consistently showing up they're contributing to those open source software projects in whatever way that may be. That doesn't always look like GitHub commits. Sometimes that looks like showing up to events over and over again. Sometimes that looks like building on stack, but sometimes that looks like putting in a issue for link rot on a documentation website. You don't have to be an engineer to do that. Then when I think about a network, it's all of the folks who are kind of involved in the ecosystem, but it keeps expanding out. You want your network to keep getting bigger and growing, uh, and maybe they're using one part of your ecosystem, but they're not necessarily using every part of your ecosystem. And so at Launchpad, when we think about building uh, community, when we think about building and uh, being a part of the uh, protocol Labs and Filecoin ecosystem, we're also thinking about what does it mean to be a part of the Protocol Labs network and what does it mean to keep growing that. And one thing that we do at Launchpad is we have a bunch of different tracks for folks. 
Uh, and the reason, but we keep folks together. And the reason why we do that is because we think that it's important for our engineers to learn from our recruiters, for folks who are maybe building out, you know, a really fun D app on like FVM most recently to come in and talk to those core devs who are working on IPFS. We want to think about those folks who are maybe debating using libp2p in their stack, but they haven't quite decided, but like, man, they're all in on Filecoin. Like, they're, they're all in and what that means. Uh, we also have uh, concept tracks and we have a fundamentals track and a builder's track. Our builder's track is designed for folks uh, who are devs who are actively coding every day. We do a whole devs tools week. Uh, that's for those folks. We have a concepts track. I say that these are for the folks who were uh, technical once upon a time or technical-ish. Your CTOs, your product managers, the folks who maybe were coding back in the day but maybe are a couple times removed now. Uh, we also have our fundamentals track, and this is for our marketing team members, our operations folks, folks who want to learn more about the protocol apps network. They want to learn more about Web3, but they maybe they've never written a line of code in their life. Uh, we have that track as well. And then we also are just introducing, I'm really excited about this, our Web3 Basics class. Uh, tell your friends about it. Tell your friends who are like, what even is Web3? Uh, it's a five hour course, so it's pretty like low commitment, uh, just for folks who are looking to learn more about Web3. We have a curriculum like most things in the PLN. It is also open source, so you can go and take a look at it. Uh, and we really cover the Protocol Labs network, IPFS, IPLD, libp2p, Filecoin, and DevTools. Uh, the program itself is four weeks. Uh, and in this, we go over the vision, goals, teams. We run it in cohorts. And the reason why we do that is, again, to create community and to create those bonds. And it's always really exciting for me because I get to see, you know, uh, you know, storage providers end up becoming really good friends with folks who maybe work on the marketing team or folks who are storing data, you know, at their data center. Uh, we also talk, we also have mentorship, so that's one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we try to make it a mentor that we think you will have a long-standing relationship with uh, that you end up consistently talking to beyond the program. Uh, week two, we do shallow and deep dives. So our shallow dives are for folks who maybe you know don't have that tech technical background, and our deep dives are with our core devs um, who are working on those projects. Uh, you can choose subjects to become well versed in. It is very much you know you should get out of Launchpad what you need, but you're not going to learn everything overnight, and that's okay. We have hands-on tutorials. Uh, then we have an on-site week as well and a summit. Uh, we do a project, and we have intensive cohort bonding and community building, which is really important. Uh, who here who did Launchpad still talks to folks in their cohort? Yeah? Okay, 100%. Excellent. Uh, and then after the program ends, we have a demo session, uh, and we're still here. We don't go away. I always tell people that. I'm like, I don't disappear. The Launchpad curriculum is still online, so you can always go back to it. The benefits of doing the program are you're really building that community, and it's not just a community of other folks who are working on your team or who are doing the role that you're doing. It's folks across the network, and ultimately, that is probably going to make your product stronger, that is probably going to make your team stronger, and that's probably going to make, hopefully, maybe, Web3 stronger. Uh, you are also learning about different projects, which is really cool. How many of you all have like ended up, you know, just like deep in a rabbit hole and you realize like you look around and you're like, man, I actually have no idea what's going on in the NFT space because I'm in the decentralized storage space. Or man, like I have no idea what is happening over in Filecoin because I'm really focused on Solana. Uh, and so by building up this program and by kind of coming together as a group of not just everyone who's in a single role, you get to learn hopefully a lot more uh, and kind of, let's say like cross-programmically. Cross you also get to understand tooling and network partners. 
Uh, and one of the benefits of the program is we are very focused on meeting learners where they're at, meeting everyone where they're at. Everyone who comes into Launchpad comes in with so much knowledge. Uh, and on the other side, you come in with questions, we'll answer them. And if we don't know the answer, we will find it. So these are some ways to get involved. We have a cohort starting on May 1st, so definitely uh, take a look and sign up. We also have a Web3 Basics course starting on May 3rd, and uh, our V11 and V12 uh, residents are invited to a summit in Paris right around ETH Global and ETH CC, so definitely, uh, if you're thinking about going there anyway, definitely check out Launchpad. Uh, if you are already in the PLN, uh, or in late stage builders, you can go ahead and register. If you are not in the PLN, but would like to be in the PLN, uh, come say hi to me, come talk to me. If you would like to do Launchpad, also come talk to me as well. So that's all I got. Thank you so much. Yeah.